G'day friends, Marty, we're here from Marty's Garden and martysgarden.com.au with our first ever Q&A for February 2017. I've got some great questions from the viewers and I just love hearing from you guys and the feedback that you provide and being able to provide value back into your lives. Now, I just want to shout out to Little Beans Garden. Thanks Little Beans Garden, you've been so supportive since you've come on and started watching the show. My first question comes from Alan Thompson. He says, hey, Marty, I'm from Brizzy. Hot as hell. The lime that you mix, is that the bag from Bunnings? That also helps get rid of fleas. Well, mate, I would recommend that you get hold of Tansy. Tansy works way better. It also is used as a food, a food colouring and also for colouring clothing. and You can have a lot of fun with it. Tansy also gets rid of ants and is a good companion to have in the garden to attract beneficial insects and to put around the bottom of your fruit trees to keep ants and things away from where they are moving scale and, and aphids and things like that around. But I have used it before and I threw tansy all through the corners of the house and the fleas were gone the next day. From Jim Bataglia, I hope I've got your name pronounced correctly there, Jim. If I haven't, please excuse me. It says, thanks for being real and teaching us how to handle hot weather. Hey, thank you, Jim. Uh, it's really nice to hear from you. Is your water supply from rainwater runoff or is it from a well? Is it best to water before the sun rises or is it best to water in the afternoon? Okay, I have uh, rainwater here. I have a, a small 500 tank, 500 litre tank off the grow house, and I have 3,000 litres running off the shed. And my house, the, my cabin also is on rainwater, and I can pump it across from larger tanks next door if uh, needed be. Now, the best time to water is in the evening um, and to water deep so the roots follow the water down into the deep, into the soil profile. It's important to get your soil profile as water holding as possible so as deep as possible with good quality soil so when it does rain your soil is like a water bank and you get those roots down deep and it might seem dry on top but there's water down below and the roots have gotten down there and your plants will survive and perform much better through these hot and drier times okay so thanks Jim Bataglia for that question Mark Brown. Hey Marty, I love the videos. Very authentic and good content. Thanks Mark, appreciate that mate. What is your opinion on water saving crystals in containers? I'm transitioning from a container garden with mostly herbs to sowing an autumn garden in the ground. It will be my first garden bed, so wish me luck. Because I'm a big fan of water crystals in containers. Uh, containers dry out very fast, especially the uh, clay style terracotta pots, they just they dry out way quicker. Um, you know, sometimes we forget to water. So when we do forget to water, we need to put our whole container in a bucket of water and just drop it in there until all the bubbles dissipate and all the bubbles are gone. And that way we remove any air pockets in the pots. But when you've got water crystals, obviously that helps uh, in times when in, in drier seasons and when you've had less chance to water it gives the plants a little bit more of a drink. Some potting mixes already contain water crystals, such as the Searles potting mix that I buy in Australia sometimes, and other different brands. If not, you can buy it. Just be careful not to put too much in, because you may do what I did, and it ends up all bubbling up through the top, because you think, oh, we'll just add a bit more water crystals. I reckon that'll work better. Uh, let's do that. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> you've got these water crystals popping through the surface of your container so don't make that mistake anyway listen uh, that's our first q a for uh february if you like these let me know and i'll, I'll keep doing them and yeah I, I love hearing from you guys and i love hearing what you've got to say and let me know uh even uh, a friend wrote in from the desert talking about um, how hot and dry and humid and everything it is over there. Now they've got to put up with severe, uh, crazy winds. Uh, so I know we're all struggling out there in different ways, but we can all help each other. Anyway, it, like I said, if you love the Q&As, uh, please write back to me and let me know and I'll keep them rolling. Uh, as far as the series for 
in search of series. Um, I'm just holding back on that for a little while because I'm off to college soon and they are quite intensive videos, but I will bring them out uh, from time to time. Mostly, I just want to keep educating about what I'm doing, what I'm growing, and what you want to know for now. Uh, have a great day, happy gardening, and we'll see you at the next video real soon. Bye for now.